Next, into the tank, a woman ready to turn an ancient island tradition into a thriving business. Hello, Shark. My name is Gladys McKenzie, the owner of Glad Mac, and I'm seeking 250,000 for 20% of my company. Glad Mac is introducing a new product called the G-Stick. Now you wondered, what is the G-Stick? Yes, the mind boggles. <laughs> the G-Stick is a tongue scraper. A and tongue scraper, you said? Yes. OK. <laughs> the G-Stick came from my memory of my grandmother cleaning her tongue. She breaks a, a branch, she chew on the end of it and brush her teeth. After she finished brushing her teeth, she would split that branch in half and bend it in the arc and then scrape her tongue. Now, oh, this is God. the horror story of a, of a before G-stick and the after G-stick. I can see you're all shocked about that, but that's the truth. When you wake up in the morning, that's how your tongue looks like. Oh, it is fine. Yeah. It's good to know. Thank you. Moving is on. It, is that, that, that's after a big night or just a normal <laughs> night? Or... That's normal. It feels like the bottom of a cockatoo's cage, right? So... The tongue, it's like a sponge and it's full of bacteria that causes bad breath and gum disease. And, and that's what the white is, it's the bacteria. That's, yes, right. the before. So when you clean it with the G stick, that's what it looks like. Now, I've come up with the idea to package the G-Stick with the toothbrush. There's nothing out there in the supermarket for tongue scrape. The main feature here is to educate everybody and bring awareness into cleaning our tongues. Remember, Shark, education is money. Education is power. Join me to make the best of everything. So just to confirm, Gladys, 250000 for 20% of your business. OK, now carry on with your demonstration. Let's have a look at the product. Mr McGrath. Thank you, Gladys. Gladys, where are you from? I'm from Fiji. From Fiji. And how long have you been in Australia? Um, 30 odd years. 30 odd years. So you came here as a two-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Could you give me a bit of a background, a bit of a history lesson on why the G-Stick? G for Gladys. That's why I call it G-Stick. Oh. Nice. Now, you were wondering how do you use that? Yeah. Yes. There's two knobs there, so you bend it like that, stick your tongue out and scrape. I don't think Australia needs to see me do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they... <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it's going to Oh, my God. Excuse me. <laughs> I guess it's something you do in front of the mirror when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> I was going to demonstrate it for you. <laughs> and so wh how much money have you put into this so far, Gladys? 50000 But to make it, it cost me $3.45. Selling it out to the public, I was going $9. That's with a toothbrush. Remember, I'm packaging it with a toothbrush. Gladys, the valuation seems very optimistic. Talk to me about how you came up with... I came up, up with the valuation uh, working on 5% of the population that I can attract on this business, and that's 1,500,000. Just rough estimate. I've never heard of this before in my life, cleaning the tongue. No. Maybe that's why I'm so... So is there a cultural uh, significance? Yeah, I mean, yeah. this, this happens a lot in Fiji? Yeah. With me, you're preaching to the converted. I use one of these every day. Really? Yeah. I'm totally sold on the importance and the need for this. What I'm not so keen about you, the design, is the one that I have at home is actually can be held with one hand. When you're having two hands, good control, you get all the gunk out in one go. I use that one that you use. Ah, it's messy for me. This one, you do it in one go. Gladys, can I, can I tell you something? I can't even listen to this pitch without shivering and shaking. I've got no idea if my tongue smells or not. I hope it doesn't. I cannot get the least bit interested in this. I do apologise. I'm out. Thank you, anyway.
Gladys, one of the hardest things is what we call market development. In other words, the first thing you have to do is teach people that they need it. Whether you can change people's habits, my dentist has been telling me to uh, floss my teeth for a very long time, and uh, I still forget more often than not. Um, so for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Gladys, I really take my hat off to you for the, having the courage and your grandma would be proud of you, you know. I, I'm sure she was obviously an important figure in your life. Um, I think that you need to partner with someone for a much smaller amount of money to get this product known and noticed. For that reason, I'm out. I was sitting here going, I'd like to do a deal with you. But I think you've made one error. And that's asking for $250,000. So you couldn't get your percentage up, like the uh, 250, but go to 30%? She would need 500%. I know. Oh. See, and they just won't. So, so what I'd like to say is, yeah. well done, congratulations. Thank but you. the only reason I am out is because of that number. But good luck. Thank you. So everybody's out. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. I I learned about Ayurvedic medicine many years ago, which has come from the Indian background. And they are great believers in this and the importance of this is just another mechanism for getting rid of toxins, many of which manifest on your tongue. So I, I'm, I'm totally sold on the importance. I, I think it's a great product and a very good practice. Your design looks good. Um, your valuation seems very, very high. So based on the valuation, and whilst I like the product, I'm out. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. They love the concept of it. Um, my valuation was too high. I'm going to look at my tongue completely differently. <laughs> you do this every morning. Every day. It's just like a little. It's like a paddle, and it's got a little fan shape at the top. But it's easy to use, and that might be a problem. But you just sort of scrape the tongue after. That's why you look so good. <laughs>